Just before this video starts, I need to have a disclaimer here to say that I am a trained professional and you should not try anything you see in this video at home. And this video is made for educational purposes only. What is this? What has this person created? Yo, yo, I'm Drew and today we're back with another Rate of My Subscribers roles, but this time with a little bit of a twist. I haven't given it a prize for the best role in a long time. So for this video, we have a £100 prize to give away with the best role. You guys will be the ones who decide who has the best role from this video. The most upvoted comment by tomorrow, 24 hours time, is what's going to win. So make sure you actually pick. Hopefully you pick a good one. I, I can't be any part of it, but top comment is going to get the £100. So if you don't know, Rating My Subscribers Roles is a series that I do, which is kind of like our community video, almost like KSI's Reddit videos, where I look at your roles and I rate them. And I'm very harsh when I rate them. <laughs> and the way you enter is by joining my Discord and make sure you have at everyone notifications turned on. So that way, when I do one of these competitions, you get the notification, you can submit what you want as your roles, and then maybe I end up rating them. So because we're giving away a £100 prize in this video, we had to have some rules, mainly to make sure that everyone's legit. This first rule is the main rule, which is you have to write the 26th of the 05 of the 24. If your role didn't make it into this video, likelihood is you probably didn't follow these rules and you probably didn't follow this main one as well. And every time people don't really understand that you can't just like open it up in Snapchat and write the date on Snapchat. That doesn't prove that you took the photo today for the competition. Then you can't show any of this stuff. It's photos only and it's a hundred pound prize. So get creative. Let's have a little look at some of the entries. Okay, so our first entry, I almost thought this was one of those pipe rolls at first. It's actually just a really nice rolled standard J. I'll give that, it looks nice. All right, our second one up, just a slightly more skinny version of the other one. And look, looking also really, really nice. Nice standard J. Bro, this guy has written the date with sticks. <laughs> but this is looking pretty nice. Again, a fairly nice standard roll, I would say. Okay, this one I'm saying is slightly less nice. It almost looks like it's rolled in like a machine. You know, it seems really, really straight. Oi, this one looks really nice. This actually looks like something that I would roll. I give this the pass. Okay, again, a fairly standard roll. It's like on that borderline of being really good to then being standard, like somewhere in between. Eh, this one again, it's okay. We've got a lot of standard ones in here today. Especially for hundred pound price, what's going on? Ah, this one looks okay. It looks like a nice back strap. Well, this one's looking nice. They've used a rip tip. They've used the whole length of the J as well. I think the rip tip size is maybe a little bit small, but looks really, really nice. Good roll. These are looking nice, like nice standard ones. I love how the standard from our first videos has changed so much. Like if you actually go back years ago to our first ever rating my subscribers roles our standard english man's j was way worse than like one of these for sure again a fairly nice standard one can't really say too much bad about it okay here we go now this is what i'm talking about this is what i was expecting when making a video like this i'm looking through these last three, like submissions i'm thinking what how do these people think they're gonna get 100 pound from this this is sick this is a tulip i like a tulip i haven't actually rolled a tulip myself for such a long time but damn that looks nice looks like it would be crazy what is this what is that why does he have a face? Is that part of the J? Surely not, because it's ink. You don't wanna. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking about this. What? What is that? <laughs> I don't even really know what I'm looking at. This is like a, like a chonker, but it also looks short, but it also look. I don't know. How does this look small and big at the same time? Oh, we got another tulip. That's looking more like how an actual tulip is supposed to look, with the bit of paper that goes around the outside to actually make it look like a proper tulip. That looks sick. All right, nice. A nice little standard one in the mix. Again, a very good standard. Like you know, our standards are high these days. Oh, this is kind of cool i don't know if anyone noticed this this is actually one of those extendo tips so it's like a glass tip but it's actually like this long i've never used any of them i don't know if they're any good can somebody let me know in the comments whether those extendo glass tips are good or whether they aren't i'm really interested to try them oh this is looking pretty nice that's an elements pre-roll tip i'm pretty sure that you see the tip there or is it a cone Mm. Well, they've got elements papers, but then they've got an element pre-rolled tip. I don't know. I think it's sus. Maybe they've got an element cone and they've just put the papers next to it to be like, yeah, it's totally with the papers. What is that? What is going on? What, <laughs> what is this? That's like, a, that's like a witch's finger, bruv. Okay, this is looking nice. I can always appreciate a J that can stand up, right? Because that's actually way harder to do than you think. I guess when you make them this kind of wide, it's a bit easier, but it is way harder than you think even still. Okay, this looking like a nice standard one. Oh, that's looking fairly big. Uh, it's hard for me to work out the ratio, but it looks pretty big, looks pretty nice. Like, I, I, I'll give that, I'll give that a pass. Just about, just about. Eh, what is this? What, what is that? <laughs> I guess he's trying to make a plane. Uh, I don't know if this would actually work. Would that work? This is kind of cool. Like, I've never seen anyone try and make anything quite like this. Like, I guess it's this and then he turned it into this. Like, I, I, 
I'm very confused. Again, I'm really not sure if something like this would actually work. Maybe it would, but I've never seen anything like that. That's really weird. Oh, damn. Now, this is what I'm talking about. What is that? Like, what? what is that? It's like a braided J, and then it goes into one J at the top? I have never seen something like that. What? That is sick! That's actually blown my mind. I've never ever seen anything like that. What is this? Is this like an extendo? Like they've tried to extend it? 12.5 inches what he's put on it. Is it 12.5 inches? I, 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 uh, what is this? What is this? What has this person created? Again, how'd you, one, how'd you make that? How'd you get that to go through that bit and keep the side? How'd you make that? And does it work? Huh? That's crazy. Okay, this is pretty sick. This is like a square doobie. That's actually sick. I rate that, that a square doobie. That is weird. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. How do you make that? How does it stay in a square? How does the paper not just rip? Oh, damn, 13 millimeter glass tip. That is looking fat. Rolled really, really well as well. That is crazy. Eh, that's looking like a standard J, normal J. Oi, what is this? That's a quad braided J. I don't think I've ever seen a quadruple braided J ever. And it goes into one tip and it looks perfect. That's actually crazy. I've never seen anything like that. This one's looking okay from like below this way, but it's literally ripped on the top. What's this guy doing? Eh, this one's not looking great. Where's the, this doesn't have a roach. It doesn't have a tip. It's just like, it's like pure American stuff style doobie like stogie type stuff and it, i don't like juicy jays i am not a fan eh, this one's looking okay this is also looking okay not too bad what have you done what what it what why <laughs> eh, again it's not looking too great what happened to our good standard man's J? oh okay that's what happened to our good standard man's J. it's here that's what we like to see okay okay i don't know why this is in a thing of bubble gum i'm very confused is that watermelon juicy jays as the paper for this again i'm not a big fan of the juicy jays the roll looks really good though but like anything that is rolled with juicy jays automatically gets a zero out of ten for me oh okay a cross J. Oh no, oh that's very sad to read. Oh, this is looking like a nice small J. This is like the type of J I would roll myself if I just wanted to roll up like a 0.3 or something or like a 0.4, like somewhere between that. Oh, this one's really weird. Like it's a cross J, but it's flared like jeans from the 90s. It almost looks like the middle bit is two J's together like that, which is not how you roll a cross J, by the way. You get like one middle piece and you just put it through the middle like that. But that really looks like they've got two small pieces and put them on the sides. Eh, this one's looking a bit sad. <laughs> oh no, this is looking even sadder. <laughs> This one's looking kind of okay. I really don't like the choice of roach though. Oh, these are looking really nice. Rolled pretty much to perfection. Like a standard J to perfection, if that makes sense. Oh no, this is the complete opposite end of the spectrum. This looks like somebody should have gone. What is this? Tulip in a pot. What? <laughs> I'm not a fan of these pink papers. I really don't like them. I'm almost a bit scared to have them, to be honest. Oh no, what, what has happened, guys? We were, we were going so good. <laughs> Oh, and this is our last one, which is very strange. I don't, I guess it's supposed to be a tulip, but, <laughs> but it's done very, very weirdly. Damn, so that was some crazy submissions, especially after the slightly slow start. I was not expecting it to go so crazy. And remember, the power is in your hands. The most upvoted comment down below is going to be the one that wins. So if you see somebody down there who's already commented it, make sure you like their comment. If you don't see a comment about the one that you think should win, make sure you write a comment. People, make sure you hit the subscribe button on the channel. And uh, if you like watching the live streams, I'll see you guys on Kick later tonight at 9 p.m. See you there. Have a good one. Peace.